Hello everybody, Tahoe Yak Fisher here. Uh, we are in the backyard with my Hobie Compass. It is the end of August here in Lake Tahoe. Normally I would be tied up with my summer job for at least another month, but uh, here in Northern California we have got the fire thing going and the smoke and the fire situation has shut down the uh, locations where I work. So I am going to try to get some fishing in and try and make some videos. And I have done some things to my new Hobie Compass that I haven't shown you guys yet. So I want to do a little catching up. Now, uh, if you follow my channel, you probably have seen my motorized kayak but the motorized kayak is just plain too much for some of the bodies of water that i would like to be able to fish and so i chose a compass as a second kayak that will allow me to fish a little bit smaller waters that i just don't need a recon 120 to fish now, this is a stripped down fishing kayak from Hobie, and it has some things that need to be addressed, and I'm going to show you guys what I have come up with. So, now the first thing I want to show you guys is the anchor I came up with for uh, the leash for my pedal drive. If you have a the right vintage of compass, uh, Hobie put some brass inserts in here that are for I think foot pedals that uh, if you want to have a uh, a motor on the back or something and it only has this one insert it doesn't have one back there and so I found on Amazon a pair of these for under five dollars uh, this is stainless steel and I went and bought the right screw that I think it is a number 10 thread, but don't quote me on that. You have to do your own uh, research and get the right screws. And I got the longest one that would fit this and bury the thread into there so that uh, I have as much thread purchase as possible so that I could use it to leash my pedal drive. So I have the leash tied to the pedal drive right there and clipped to there that way the leash stays with the pedal drive and I'm not leaving the ropes outside to rot in the sun and winter and all of that stuff now the uh, um, I gotta take a breath because of the smoke okay now one of the other things that is kind of goofy about this uh, kayak is the drink holder is kind of wide open and in my search for handles that would work as a side handle for this thing, um, I came across these plastic RV handles. And this is the, the small handle, they call it. I will put the link in the description. But, they, I mean, it was, I think, $10 or less for a pair of them. And I put this one across the drink holder. And I'm going to just go all the way over so you guys can see. It doesn't impede the shape of the drink holder at all. And it fits a Nalgene bottle. So I'm going to go get my Nalgene just to show you guys. Okay, guys, check that out. It is a perfect fit. You know, it is basically what I would call just shy of a wedge fit. It's tight, but it's pretty easy to pull out one-handed. I did it when I was sitting in the boat and it was even easier. Fits in there nice and tight. It is a uh, HDPE handle, so it's made out of basically the same plastic as the kayak. Um, I'm going to go on the other side so I can show you guys how I have it mounted. I mounted it with quarter 20 stainless steel hardware, which is what they use for handles. And I have fender washers behind there, so... Uh, you could theoretically pick the kayak up by that handle. Okay. Now, it came as a pair for less than 10 bucks, And I told you guys I was trying to solve a lifting the kayak over my head problem. So here is where the other handle went under the chair. And I am going to pull the chair out so I can show you guys how that all went together. So hang on again. 
All right, you guys, so one of the cool things about this kayak is it is actually light enough to lift up over your head. One of the lame things about this kayak is it does not come with the handles to do so. It has these uh, kind of um, flush mount handles that Hobie provides, but when I show you how I lift the kayak, I can show you that those are inadequate. I'm gonna do a little demonstration. So here's the other one of those HDPE handles that I have mounted on the floor down there in front of um, the handle. And I only put one on one side because of the fact that I'm right-handed and the way that I lift the kayak, which I'm going to demonstrate here in just a minute. But pretty neat handle, stiff enough to do the job, lightweight. Should be plenty strong. Same thing, I used quarter 20 hardware and I backed it with big fender washers. So let me just give you guys a quick demonstration of how I'm gonna lift this thing. Hang on. Okay, you guys, I have a little help here for demonstrating how we're gonna pick this thing up. Here's the handle I mounted. Here's the stock handle from Hobie. And I even have the drink handle. I'm just gonna tip it up like this. But then here is where I'm gonna use this one. And I'm going to put that hand here and pick it up. And now I can either carry it over my head or in this case, I'm just going to set it down on here. Okay. Okay, you guys. So last thing I just want to show you guys the proximity to the seat and uh, the no interference and how nicely the, the handle fits in there. Um, I do have the uh, Burley, I think, is the company little seat blocks to raise it up an inch or so. Uh, a little less than an inch, actually. And I'm enjoying that seating position. But uh, Next thing we need to do is put a fish in it. I haven't really had this thing on the water enough to even catch a fish. So uh, we're going to get out as long as it's smoky. I'm going to do some fishing uh, and we are going to get this boat in the water a bit more. Thanks very much for watching. Tight lines. Yak Fisher out.